Hello, today we're going to learn how to use Navians. Our students usually go to Navians.com and they log in at the top right corner on the screen. Once they click sign in, they will go down to students and families so that they can see their login credentials. But first they have to enter the zip code. So they usually enter the zip code for their school for KC77078. So they click that and they click go and they select the school that they are attending. Once they do that, it will redirect them to a spot where they're going to enter their login credentials, which is usually their school email and their password. The schools have already been registered. So they already know what their username and password is. And if they are new to our campus, they always have the option to register themselves and create an account. Once they log in, they will see their home page. And this home page, they have their favorite staff, which includes their colleges they're thinking about the colleges they plan to apply, the courses they might be looking up to be taking the next year, um, and the careers and, and clusters that they might be interested in based on the self-assessments that they're going to be taking. This year I'm teaching juniors, so the juniors are barely going to start doing all of these things. So when they look at their planner, they have to set goals and they have to have a to-do plan and then when they look about me they have different tabs where they can see stuff so and about me they're gonna go to my um they can see the things they have so we're gonna get them take their assessments so they go to my assessments and they have about six or seven assessments that they have to take as part of the first semester so they know what are they good at or what career or what major could be a best fit for them. So they're going to start with the do what you are test. Okay, it should take 10 to 20 minutes according to how fast they read and how quick they take the test. And um, once they're done with that, it will give them a preview of their results and if they're accurate or not. If the kid says that they're accurate enough, then it will, it will generate for them um, a profile to start matching them with careers or majors. Okay, so let's go run it through here right quickly. I'm just gonna fill in, um, just answer the questions without reading them so that you can see. So the kids usually take a little time because they're thinking of the answers, reading the questions. Once they completely answer all the questions, they will be allowed to continue. And then you will see, you will see the previous results. So it takes a little while for the results to load on the screen. But once they take this test, all these results are saved in their, in their account. So it gives them a quick uh, two-paragraph summary of what the personality is like according to what they pick on their questions. And then it asks them if we accurately describe the personality. If we did, they can pick from one through four to see how accurate the result was. And then it will give them their profile. So it takes a little while as well to load. Okay, once they have their profile, they can see um, what personality type they are. They can read it through and explore. And then they can see their related careers. Okay, so we're gonna want them to explore their related careers so that they start thinking about what their future might hold. 
and then if they really like the career or they're interested in that career, they can um, select favorite, so the heart will fill in, and then it will be saved to their home page as well. So they read through all the possible careers and then they favorite some of them to create a, to create a list. And then when they go back home and they see careers I might be thinking about, they already have the favorite careers that they selected from their assessments. So we want them to take all of the assessments to best match them and to have a, a big list of colleges that they might be interested in or a big list of careers they might be looking into so that then they can do a deeper research to see if that is something that they would like to pursue once they graduate high school and then they start investigating the steps they must take in order to complete that career. So we're going to be using this program the, throughout the year with them. So there is many things that they can explore in Navians. Like I said, Navian is a, Navian is a very useful tool. As you can see, look, once you favor your things, then you can super match yourself with the colleges that might offer the a career or a major that fits the description and then they can pick the location or things like that. But this tool is really useful for them and it has many things for them to do um, 